Well, as you can see from our slightly muddy legs, we've been uh, off-roading on the brand new Kona Libre. We've taken down some fire roads, uh, gravel tracks, and had some road in it. It handles it all pretty well, doesn't it, really? Yeah, so the Kona Libre is a carbon frame gravel bike. Um, like many of the, of the new breeds, it's available in, or you can fit, 650 or 700c wheels. Uh, Kona are making it available in both, so this is the Libre build, which is kind of more road plus, which is uh, 650 wheels, 47 mil tyres, Shimano 105 double group set. Um, and this is the Libre D DL, which is more the off-road build uh, with 700 Cs, and these are a 45 mil tyre and a Surround Force one by group set. I mean, same frame, two completely different builds, but yeah, we've been up on the uh, up on the up on the cable car and down the gravel tracks and uh, had a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I think probably the key feature of the bike, as you can see, is the uh, the tall head tube. Um, they go on for a bit of a mountain, a mountain bike company, basically, and they take that mountain bike approach to a gravel and adventure bike and try to bring some of that mountain bike handling to you know, what is essentially a road bike. And, um, they got a tall head tube, uh, kind of long top tube, short stem, and wide handlebars. And it might look a bit goofy, but it works really well, especially down from the fire rate centre in a sort of higher position, um, a bit more control, a bit more kind of stable, and um, a bit less nervous and twitchy than a more of a road biased. Gravel yeah, road. absolutely. And um, the road, the the position on the on the hoods is quite upright. It's yeah. quite a kind of upright, yeah. comfortable position. When you get down on the drops, it's sort of, sort of a mid position, isn't it? It's, yeah. like, it's between where you'd be on the on the tops and the drops on a on a more kind of road oriented gravel bike. But it's a really nice position for for downhilling. You feel really in control. Um, plenty of kind of leverage in the bars, the nice wide bars. They're a bit flared as well, so they're really comfortable. And it was good, yeah. And then the the horizon tires are more suited for road. You can't really <laughs> can't really attack the hairpins. Yeah, with I'm definitely happy with those uh, bridges <laughs> on the off road bits because they're a bit more grip than these uh, yeah these byways. But, but once you get on the roll on the um, on the road, they roll really well. Yeah. You know, they're 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 pretty much indistinguishable from a road tire most of the time. You yeah. don't really feel it holding you back. Yeah, and it didn't it didn't feel slow. Um, it didn't feel a, a slouch at all on the on the road. It's pretty quick. Um, car and frame obviously keeps weight down. It's a nice level of stiffness. Just get out of the saddle and it climbs well. We showed you some footage just now. Climb some hairpin um, roads here in Austria, and it yeah, so it kind of does that. Kind of off-road, on-road thing quite well, really. Yeah, so, um, who's it for? Well, well, who's it for? Well, it's definitely, it's not a gravel race bike. I don't think it's more of a gravel tour. So they're going to do some, I mean, you can see from the mounts on the bike, designed for like, bike packing and touring and long distance. Real adventure bike, isn't it? Really, like, adventure with capital A, I think. Yeah, so, definitely. So, I mean, we've got our, we've got two cages on this bike at the moment. There's a, you can put a third cage here. You put a fourth cage here, there's a bento yeah. box mount there. Um, and you can put one here as well if you want to, um, on these uh, anything mounts here. Um, obviously you can fit a low riders as well. There's another bottle cage underneath yeah. the uh, underneath the down tube. So yeah. and if I put a rack in the back as well. Yeah, you can put a rack on the back and um, you know, it's a really versatile bike, so there's a lot of you can fit a lot of stuff to it. Yeah, I think if I do it like transcontinental or any sort of um, long distance or even like a you know your own unsupported adventure across Europe, this is sort of like a go for. More relaxed position, can be more comfortable and it will handle any sort of unexpected uh, off-roading that you come across and you can put everything on it as well. And, yeah. And at the other end of the spectrum you can probably use it for commuting and uh, bashing around your local woods. Absolutely, yeah, it'd be a great, fun on. great bike for just kind of general kind of non-technical yeah. trail riding. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And I think like, as these two bikes show, you can change tyres and you can change the kind of character of the bike quite well. So um, you have two sets of wheels and Everyone talks about these bikes being kind of a do it all and one bike to do everything on it. It's a bit of a cliche, but. I but it's closer than most, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's closer <laughs> yeah, than most. So, and obviously, you know, we've got we've got these bikes set up as, as Kona have given them to them. There's a big stack of spaces here, short stem that's, that's pointing up. I mean, you could. Maybe more aggressive. You could take you three to. centimetres out of, the, out of the stack at the front, couldn't you, if you really wanted to make it more aggressive? Mm. So, there's a lot you can do. So, yeah. That's good. This is the Libre DL um, and the Libre. So the Libre is 2,899 with the 105 group set. This Libre DL is 3,699 with the Force and the 700Cs. So yeah. Do we know where it's in the shop yet? <sighs> I think it's the end of July or start of August. Uh, very soon I think. Then. Yeah, soon. So you'll see them soon, and we'll try and get one in for a 
a longer term review Absolutely, on yeah. Road CC. So, yeah, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions about these bikes or anything we've seen at Eurobike, um, ask them in the comments below. We'll get them answered for you. Brilliant, yeah. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Yeah, um, as soon as he's done, check the back.